who was the woman who had everything. And our next collector seems to have it all now, with around 10,000 Liz Taylor objects. Give or take a few. Uh, I became aware of Elizabeth Taylor when she arrived in my letterbox in 1984, in the shape of a postcard. <laughs> Not her so much. Okay, so there she is in Giant. Uh, a friend of mine sent me that, and the collection just grew from there. It started probably just as a bit of a hobby, I think, when you've got work going on, you've got a relationship going on, you've got to have that bit of time away from things, and I never had a hobby really as a kid, so I took this on and I thought, if you're going to collect things, you need to collect every single part of the... Uh, the spectrum, you know, the whole lot, so it's been done now. Am I obsessed? Oh, I'm just Elizabeth Taylor's number one fan, um, who's retired too, by the way. The oldest piece is, uh, there's lots of programs in the collection, but this is the oldest program, uh, the original program from the movie National Velvet 1945. At uh, 12, she became an overnight sensation and it's escalated from there. She was on about $2,000 a week. Because you had Giant in, in the 50s, you had all the, the good movies, I reckon, in the 50s and the 60s. 70s, well, she teamed up with Richard Burton, which was her husband at that point, and they produced a lot of movies themselves, you know, Tame of the Shrew and a few other ones. And the last movie she made was in 2001, which is these old broads. And there's been 20-odd uh, years of corresponding, a bit of a pen friend thing going on with Elizabeth, so there's a few items here, some autographs. Um, there's about 40 in the collection. Letter there from someone else, it's Elizabeth Taylor Burton, very rare autograph. And there's the birthday card, dear Wayne, happy birthday, that was my, when I was 32. A Van Gogh card, Elizabeth Taylor likes Van Gogh paintings, so uh, she probably got that out of the kitchen cupboard. Favourite costume, probably the one behind me I reckon, maybe. I've seen that movie that she's in, Poker Alice heaps of times. The suede Italian boots are specially designed or made for Elizabeth Taylor for her 60th birthday. The gloves are from Gordon Bayou, he's a um, makeup artist who he worked for, with her on um, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. She wore them in the movie Butterfield 8 and she also wore them when she signed her $1 million contract to do Cleopatra in 1963. Every collection needs a wardrobe and I've got the perfect wardrobe, Elizabeth Taylor wardrobe. Cleopatra, a costume um, budget of $18,000 and nearly about 400 different costumes. So this is a very rare item. We've also got a bathing suit from 1972 while studying um, Richard Burton in Mexico somewhere there, she wore that. People that went to her 60th birthday party at Disneyland got a sweater. I didn't go, but I got the sweater. Well, now it's been collated into a book. It's about her life, it's about the memorabilia, and it's about me, supposedly her number one fan. Jewelry that she actually made back in the 1950s. Movies, autographs, unseen photographs. This is it, the collection's finished. It's in the book, and the book's shut. <laughs>